Welcome, everyone. Today's session is going to be using this little tool right here underneath our feet to help open up and loosen up our fascia. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. All you need is this little toy here and then maybe a chair. But before that, don't forget to subscribe. Click down right there. It's free. I have short sessions just like this and I have long sessions too. So grab your ball. You're going to put it underneath your feet. You can do this sitting or standing with a little bit of support. Okay, And we're going to do this with both feet, but you're going to start by just rolling back and forth. And I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see. Nice and tall, just rolling back and forth. And you can kind of meander, if you want to say, work your way around the foot in different directions. But um, think of it as just like a little bit of a warm up, a little light massage. I'm going to warn you that if this is your first time doing this in a while or ever, uh, this can be a little intense uh, for those pressure points. But as the more you do it, it doesn't get as, it's not as bad. So. I do have another instructional video on this, too, that you can see. Um, and then, of course, I have many other stretching videos that you can do, too. All right, let's switch legs. Switch feet, I mean. This is something that I do with my clients also. So if you can see, I have the space down here, and I work virtually with them, too. Ooh, runaway ball. Deep breaths in. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale. Okay, this is where it's going to get a little more intense. So if you need to start sitting, that's an option, and then you can progress. But you're going to start with right over your toes. The tennis ball is right over the toes. And then you're literally going to put your weight, and if you need to, you can kind of come up. Let's see here if I can get a little more angle here for you. And put pressure on the tennis ball. Now, the reason for the tennis ball is because this might not feel too bad right now. The tennis ball, because it is sturdy, but has give. Um, I know sometimes people recommend like a racquetball ball, but those are harder and um, don't have that give. OK, so take some pressure off and then you're going to work your way back a little bit. And then put all your weight into that. Feel your foot just kind of mold over. The ball and all your weight is right above that ball right now and if you can see my heel is off the floor okay relax and then move back a little bit and then all your weight so you have your fascia which is like a, a layer it's like your second skin that goes over your muscles and um, they can get sticky, they can attach themselves to the muscles, and that's where you're going to decrease that range of motion and mobility. Go ahead and sit back, and then a little further back in the foot. This is where it gets a little more intense for some people. Keep your breathing going. Again, all your weight is on the ball. Now, newer the ball, the harder it's going to be, so that might make a difference too. Um, surface area also, like my surface area has some give to it, which is great. Go ahead and relax. Now go a little further back. A little more on the heel, almost on the heel now. Um, this is great for my clients because there's a give while they're working um, and strength training and um, cardio, um, but it also has a little bit more give to something like this. So whatever works for you. Okay, back. Now all the way on the heel. All the way on the heel. Inhale. And exhale. And then roll back and forth. We're going to do this on the other side. This is great if you have, um, you know, you have a tight Achilles, or if you have plantar fasciitis, any of those where you have issues with those muscles getting too tight and limiting you. Okay, let's switch feet. I'm just going to turn myself this way. Start with just over the toes 
and then put all your weight. Now this one, I'm going to feel it more in the toes just because I have two hammer toes. So, which aren't pretty, but you know, when you get older. <laughs> but I'm going to really feel that stretch because the tops of the toes get pretty tight and that's where the hammer toes kind of, um, where you create a hammer toes because those t muscles get tight. Relax and then roll back a little bit and then all your weight again. So I am on my heel or off my heel for my back foot helps kind of put more weight on the front. And you just listen to your body and where you're at. You may not be exactly at this point, but you can progress. Go ahead a little further back. Should be really on the ball of the foot, maybe even a little bit further back, almost into the arch. We're just inching our way through. We are working our way towards our heart. Everything works its way towards the heart. Okay, relax. And then right about the arch, maybe even a little further forward. All your weight. There you go. Inhale and exhale. And back, really into the arch now, maybe even a little further back. All your weight right on the leg, on the ball. And then back a little further. So this is right at the back of the arch, almost into the heel. Whew, I'm feeling this one. You're going to find points. They're going to be a little more intense than the others. A lot of times that ties into, obviously, where are you tightest? Where are those sensitive spots? Okay, and then right into the heel. Inhale and exhale. And sitting back and just roll it out. Now we're just doing this one time each. If you feel like you need to do it again, just start the video back over. But that is how we use the tennis ball for pressure points and our fascia. Thank you again for coming. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you'll see a little picture of me right here and then I'll have a video for you also. Have a wonderful day. Bye.